Axillary nerve blocks are used for surgery usually below the elbow. A properly executed axillary nerve block can be performed by identifying individual nerves or just in depositing local anesthetic below the artery and above the axillary artery. Axillary nerve blocks under ultrasound can improve safety because you can view many of the small arteries and veins in the axilla and avoid intravascular injection. To properly position for the axillary nerve block, we have moved our patient to the opposite side of the bed and will now abduct the arm 90 degrees. For the axillary nerve block, we usually use a linear probe. Usually axillary nerve blocks are very shallow, so I put my initial depth setting to about two and a half to three centimeters. Usually I also set the frequency settings to general or resolution for the axillary nerve block. To do a properly executed axillary nerve block, identification of the artery and vein is important. If you find the artery, injection below and above the axillary artery usually results in a good nerve block. So we initially place the probe in the axilla and identify a pulsating artery in the axilla. This is your axillary artery. Now as you can see, the pulsating artery, there is no vein in my initial picture. This is because the vein is collapsed with light pressure of the probe. It is very important to identify the axillary vein so you do not inject into the axillary vein. As I let up some pressure, you can now see the axillary vein superficial to my pulsating artery. Other structures visualized in this shot include the biceps and coracobrachialis on the right side of the screen and either the latissimus dorsi or the triceps on the left side of the screen depending on what level I am at. So our needle approach to the axillary block is always cranial to caudal in this direction. The reason we come cranial to caudal is for two reasons. The axillary vein, as you see on the picture, usually lies caudal and we do not want to puncture the axillary vein with a needle approach from the caudal side. Also, it's much cleaner to go through the deltoid or the biceps rather than the axilla. My initial needle insertion point will direct the needle below the artery. If you inject below the artery, local anesthetic can spread backwards along the latissimus dorsi or triceps muscle to get to the radial and ulnar nerves. Here we can see the needle advancing through the biceps muscle. Our first injection is going to be below the artery and you can see the needle advancing to that area. You can see the axillary artery and the axillary vein. The radial nerve is located deep to the axillary artery. The ulnar nerve is located between the artery and vein and the median nerve is located at 9 o'clock on the axillary artery. Now we see the needle being advanced above the artery. You can see the local anesthetic has already been injected deep to the artery and now the median nerve is sitting on top of the artery at 12 o'clock. The needle is now pushing the artery down and injecting local anesthetic all around the artery and the median nerve. We then advance the needle towards the ulnar nerve, which is now directly in front of the needle. Our goal is to get local anesthetic around the ulnar nerve here. Total volume injected appears to be large, but it is only 20 milliliters so far. Now the ulnar nerve is visible floating in the local anesthetic in the median on top of the artery. Next, I would like to identify the musculocutaneous nerve. The musculocutaneous nerve is the fourth nerve of a properly executed axillary block. So I find the musculocutaneous nerve by moving a slightly distal along the arm. I also will increase the depth and look for a hyperechoic nerve within the biceps or coracobrachialis muscle. Traditionally, the musculocutaneous nerve can be oval or triangular. 
the muscutaneous nerve is one of the brightest or most hyperechoic nerves in the body and is easily blocked with local anesthetic in the realm of three to five milliliters. Here we see a hypoechoic musculocutaneous nerve surrounded by a hyperechoic fascia or needles being advanced to the lateral portion. The local anesthetic is now being injected below the musculocutaneous nerve and now above the musculocutaneous nerve to give complete surrounding of that nerve. The needle is being advanced to the biceps muscle. You can see the pulsatile axillary artery medial as well.